Oh, what's up? I am Grizz, and I am here for Chainsaw Man Episode 2. Last week was a pretty solid introduction episode. Basically set us up with this world that has these devils in it. Uh, we met our main character in Denji, who fused with his little devil pet after dying in order to live and allow the pet to see out Denji's dream by basically them combining and becoming one. Overall was good fun setup for I guess what we'll be getting into this episode. We met a girl from the public safety committee or service or whatever it was and basically she gave Denji some options and he chose the one that allowed him to live. Now it appears we'll probably be taken in by her and we'll figure out what happens next. I'm assuming he's going to become a devil hunter with her but I don't really know much more outside of that. I'm assuming we're going to meet some characters that are within the OP. Hopefully we answered some of the questions I guess I had at the end of the last video, which weren't really too many. Uh, a couple of them came from things in the OP, as in there was a girl who looked like she had wings as if she was an angel, so I wondered if that was a thing. And also some of the other things I did notice in the OP, I don't believe are as important as I thought they were at first. After seeing on twitter and things like that afterwards that apparently the op was just a lot of recreation of other films and things almost a tribute to the author of the series which is cool overall but it just made my entire dissecting of it pointless i guess the only other thing i'm wondering is if we're gonna get an ending visual sequence this time is the last time we just got the roll credit but yeah excited for this i'm assuming this is going to take place exactly after the last episode ended overall just excited to learn more and maybe meet some new people not much more for me to say let's go with episode two arrival in tokyo <laughs> man hasn't eaten in years Look how happy that made him just to have someone ask. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You've always acted like one, though. Just like the other guy used to hire you. Alright, don't pull the... <laughs> We're gonna get you some new shorts, too. Yeah, put on the... put on the jacket. Nice. Look at you, drippy. Drippy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you're actually gonna be her dog. That's why she keeps talking about how things smell, okay. Or at least how he smelt last time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> you need me to feed you. Yeah, unless, unless. <laughs> I love him. こんな伸びてるうどんも美味しいだなんて君分けなきゃだね。本当に犬みたい。マキマさん。好きな男の子あります。え、ガウンフォー。それ、カウントダウン。で、ネルバスブリーディング。デンジ君みたいな人。ナ
Hello. Hello, Aki. <laughs> He's heartbroken, yeah. <laughs> You're stuck on this, dude. Yeah, why? <laughs> you gotta explain, yeah. But he has nothing to return to, so it doesn't matter. That's how you fucking do it. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. One was a no. It does sound like that. Oh, you feel for him when that happens. You really do. Yeah. Something I wanted to say too. I guess I didn't touch out on the intro. After he fused or whatever, he got his eye back. So I wonder that he keeps hitting him in the nuts. I wonder if he got all those back too, and his kidney and whatever else. He sold off, uh, I'm assuming he probably got everything back then, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Okay. あ、<笑> She's getting rid of the... Okay. I was gonna say she's getting rid of all the devils, so she has to be, right? That <laughs> man's so, uh... That is whipped. wrong with him so some the because it's public i guess so that they're associated with the police in some sort of way then yeah so i'm one he told you to turn, though. Yeah. Yeah. I get that, but that's not what he wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Orenokazoko, 
友達になれる悪魔がいたらなりてうん俺友達いねえもんいやその言葉覚えとくぜもう夢にゴールしちまってるからなあいつはまだ追いかけてんだいやなんか足りない気がするなんかあったかマジでマジのゴール A friend, the person to. 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 It's back on the table. I don't know what you mean. Alright, stay alive so you can do this. Yes. Buddy? Buddy? ショーキボニムとかパトロールは安全のため、二人一組で行動することになってるんだ。おうおう、ヒゲ仙人間、わしの名はパワー。バディとやらはうぬか。パワー、名前パワー。ナイス。マジなの？マジンがデビルハンター
personality thing of hers where she just likes that. I think she's very aware of the effect that she has on him or the things that she can get away with with him and will use that to get what she wants. Cute sequence between the two here. And then he barks back because he's fucking weird, but you know, he's literally her dog. This here, he asks what type of guy she's into. Her response, I'm into the dungeon type. Once again, playing into him and his desires and what he wants. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this isn't a real answer, but it might be. It's one of those things where she's going to be very playful with him and it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to see if these are true intentions or if she's just playing around. Hiromi Aki, who's the unit leader in which, in which Denji and Power, who we will meet later, is going to be working under. He attempts to beat up Denji, basically basically by telling him, hey, only people with real motivation survive this. Don't come here just looking for a paycheck or don't come here looking to chase a girl. That's not what we do here. We were very serious and only the ones who really have a motivation or I guess a dream are going to be the ones who are able to survive here. The problem with that is what Aki doesn't know because he's not friends with Denji is telling him, go back to your daily life or go back to your previous life. You don't want to be involved with us anymore is something that isn't true at all because one, Denji doesn't really have any options, but two, he had nothing to really return to. It's he's already living a better life by being involved with this here. So it's not just, oh, I'm chasing this or, oh, I got somewhere to go back on. He doesn't have anything to do. More just funny moments. There's been a lot of really well written just funny comedy i guess mixed in which plays out a bit more realistic like almost things you would see if dudes you know were fighting together or something like this denji's kind of relatable in a way although he likes to say everything out loud and be very obvious with his intentions some of the thoughts and things that go through his mind are usually things that at least in anime you don't usually see too often at least being written into the story some sort of way so he feels a little bit more like a relatable character unlike we've usually seen i guess realistic should be the word that i use not relatable talks about how they're hitting it off which they absolutely are and then basically describes how Denji's going to be joining Aki's unit now. Aki complains about having troublemakers, which power is the other one then, in which we will meet. And then she basically hits us with, well, I guess Denji already knows. Basically, if he tries to leave or he makes things difficult for them or does anything that goes against their wishes here as devil hunters, they're going to dispose of him as if he is a devil. And this here, now Denji's practically a slave at this point. He might be living a better life, but is it that much more free when now he's going to be stuck here forever? We find out that Aki had his life saved by Makima, which adds more validation, I guess, to the fact that she is deserving of her title and really is upper class, as Aki tried to just say earlier. Aki orders Denji to basically show him what he can do by using his devil powers in order to kill this devil in which they find. However, Denji opts to not do that as he's not someone that's necessary to use it and he also relates with him in the fact that he could have been just like this guy and he wanted to make it a nice painless death for him and not have to use that unless he absolutely has to i guess for survival's sake aki doesn't appreciate the fact that he took it easy on him like that as this is something that he takes very serious says here his entire family was killed by a devil and right in front of him and he's not okay with being nice to them and trying to be friendly with them stating that he'd make any devil that he kills suffer as much as possible it's almost like revenge or payback that Aki's trying to get an order for what happened to his family by one of them. So he's going out of his way to make them suffer as much as possible when he kills them, thinking that that's going to change something or fix anything when it's really not. He's just taking extra anger out on that. After that incident, here we meet Power, who is now our partner, or Denji's partner, I guess, in Aki's group. Power's got some horns that stick out of her head. She's also an absolute goofy, and she doesn't seem to be all there. So her and Denji are either going to have some really hilarious and fun moments, or are going to be completely opposite and never on the same page with literally anything. And then here, Power gets the scent of blood, goes after, and ends up killing the sea cucumber devil that they find. She's able to form this hammer or I guess mallet and I don't know if it was it came from the wrist area so I don't know if it was something like she had to form like a cut and then like when blood comes out she's able to do something with that or if it's more of she literally was able just to form it around her wrist and I wonder exactly how that works and if it's always this object or if she's able to create different things. So once again, another introduction episode where the first one was more Denji's introduction into getting this job. This is now his introduction with the job and also learning his surroundings and the people around him. Now that we've met everyone, hopefully next week we'll really kick off with whatever, I guess, the main objective or just things that we're going to be going on here are. 
Denji continues to strive for a dream that he has. I'm excited to learn a little bit more about Aki. He seems pretty interesting, although so far I feel like everything we've seen from him is a little straightforward, but he does seem like he's kind of might be hiding some stuff that could be interesting power on the other hand i don't feel like she has a lot interesting going for her i guess like backstory and stuff like that i feel like she's that stuff's not going to be as important related to her uh she overall just seems really fun and going to be enjoyable whenever she's on screen and denji i feel like we already got the general idea for him makima is a completely different one because it doesn't seem like we're in a position to know anything about her yet so definitely excited to learn a lot more about her as she seems like she has a couple different sides she can flip on and off maybe or she's good at acting the part up to everybody that's around her and trying to please the others also for them all to recognize her as like kind of the top dog almost i wonder what ability she has really we do know she has a strong scent of smell but that's really about it so i wonder exactly what she does if she has some sort of hidden power within her or she has some sort of weapon that she uses or what it is but definitely a really good episode really excited for next week and to hopefully really get things rolling here if you want to hit the like and subscribe button follow my mal and twitter both links are in the description and i'll see you all next week for episode three